वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन द गिवन फिगर इफ x is equal to y can you say that lines m and n are parallel you can see figure so m and n two lines and l is turned towards it here you can see two corresponding angles so we can say x is equal to y is given x is equal to y x is equal to y is given that is corresponding angle so corresponding corresponding angle corresponding angle yes yeah, so one condition in uh, transversal that corresponding angles are equal so vertically opposite angles are equal so many conditions so one and the condition given x is equal to y corresponding angles equal corresponding angle so we can say so m n so we can say so we can say m and n are parallel parallel Number five, name all the sets of corresponding angles, alternate angles, exterior angles, and interior angles in the figure. So here you can see one figure. That means P P Q one line, R S one line. So two parallel lines, one transverse in T W. So here, here you can see four angles. One, two, three, four. Here five, six, seven. Eight. Now, first we find corresponding angles. So corresponding angles corresponding angles past corresponding angles so here look corresponding angles two six one exterior one interior so <coughs> this is corresponding angle angle two Two and six, one and five, one and five, four and eight, three and seven, three and seven. Correspond to each other. Now alternate angles. We have alternate exterior, alternate interior. So. Alternate angles, angle one and angle angle one and angle eight, angle two and angle seven. So one eight two seven. Now again we can write interior three six three and. Six, four and four and five. These are alternate angles. Outside angles exterior one two seven eight. These are outside one two seven eight. Outside exterior angle. So exterior angle angle one angle two angle seven and angle eight. Now interior angles three four. Five six. So angle A plus angle D is equal to one hundred eighty degree. Uh, <clears throat> adjacent adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. Supplementary. That is 180 degrees. So A plus so angle A plus 115 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So from here angle A is equal to 180 degree minus 115 degree is equal to 65 degree. So angle B is equal to angle D here uh, 115 degree opposite angle opposite opposite angle. 
So opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram. So B is 115 degree. Here angle A is 65 degree. So angle C is equal to angle A is equal to 65 degree opposite angle. In the given figure CE parallel CE parallel BA, you can see CA parallel BA. If angle A is 50 degree and B is 70 degree, find ACE. So we need to find this angle. So we have a BAC angle BAC is equal to angle ACE angle ACE alternate angle alternate angle that is 50 degrees in each of the following figures find the mark unknown angles number 1, number 2, number 3 here you can see 147 and this is axis unknown here x and this 120 so y is unknown and here x is unknown so number one here you can see this angle and this angle we can find this these two vertically opposite angles are equal and these two sum of two angles on the same side of transversal is supplementary are supplementary so um, uh, lqr or qrn we can say we can write 147 degree plus qrn 180 degree sum of sum of two angles on the same side on the same side of a transversal transversal sum of two angles on the same side of a transversal is supplementary supplementary so here uh, qrn qrn is equal to 180 minus 147 that is 33 degree. 33 degree that's why x is equal to 33 degree vertically opposite angles so x is equal to 33 degree but vertically opposite angle particularly opposite angle so this one 33 degree x also 33 now this is x is equal to 60 degree why alternate exterior angle alternate exterior angle exterior angle you can see this figure corresponding angle so x is equal to 120 degree number 3 x is equal to 120 degree corresponding angle corresponding angle so take z this one so z plus 152 degree uh, 180 degree on the same side of transversal is what is the sum of two angles sum of two angles sum of two angles on the on the same side of a transversal is supplementary So here z is equal to 180 minus 152 that is 28 degree. So z is equal to 28 degree means y is equal to z 
is equal to 2080. So x is 120 degree and y is 2080. So this is all about today. Subscribe my channel. Most of you watch my video but you don't subscribe. So please subscribe my channel. If you like my videos, please like and give comment. Take care. Thank you very much.